Just an idea. Okay. I just did it the other day because I thought when I go in next week, I want to like, I've, I've said this to them, but then, you know, they say things like they being the producer. Well, it's just like Weekend Update. And you go, well, so bad. what? Weekend Update was a hit. I mean, he looks uneasy and uncomfortable standing. And so, you know, they say he'll get better, and he is better, actually, uh, you know. We'll make a mock-up of this in New York and put him at it and make him do it. And, of course, anyone who comes up the stairs here, if they are interested in what I do, we don't let them go. And then if they stay around long enough, we pay them. Or whatever. Work pays them. Whatever, you know. I just thought, wow, uh, when I stop all this stuff I do here, <laughs> and this thing, mm -hmm. I mean, and, uh, you know, um, a, a little teaching would be really nice. I, I think I would be good, I mean, yeah. but I can't do it here, I can't have students here, I, I don't have enough space. This is Jimmy, okay, I like this, my li <laughs> okay, this is my favorite stage, you see, these little things, little buildings, you know, this now, if you look at it on air, a solid, uh, uh, a cherry. All oh, nice. beautiful cherry, you know, yeah. and so I don't know. We, we, it's fun to be working on things that actually happen. And that's to kind of understand that we, things can be done. The weather this is changing. Yeah, the weather is changing, man. Now, this this kind is of the proscenium, and, and, and they're all going to have little red, uh, beady eyes, and it's going to be three dimensional. Right. That's the way it is, you know. Mm -hmm. So there it is. Frustrated guy just wants to teach, see a few students. I mean, there's a million people we know in New York who would love to come for a day and talk to, talk to kids. This is good. There's always something going. See, this would be good for the kids. This is a great idea. So they wanted. They, they made a proposal to us that we would do themed uh, uh, th themed environments in New York. So you could go to a, a, you could go to like you know a conehead apartment, <laughs> or, <there would> be <laughs> Ma or you could go to Wayne's uh, the the basement on Wayne's World, where like we'd put a furnace right in the middle of the living room and pipes and stuff, and then everything would be themed uh, uh, around the th Saturday Night characters. Oh, uh, of, of a, a typical night? show, we'd probably do 10, 10, 10 or twelve and cut. Four or five. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it, and it never matters whether it's good. I am a little bit like inviting the fox into the hen house mm -hmm. because I really think, you know, um, you know, it, it's better. The, it, the teaching is better when, you know, it's all kind of mixed up with real stuff and you have a real working environment. And then they go to New York and they find out, wow, it's not, there's no guaranteed job. You, you've spent all this money and there's no job. And uh, that's not how it really works. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, and then, you know, the, the only job they can get is back teaching. Picture an old kind of Hollywood glamour. I can remember Hate it. it. Hate it. <laughs> now this, this is a hit. I don't know. This is a critical hit. I know that. Okay. Okay. I don't know if, um, if I can know that. This is very good. Well, this is Act one. Dylan Heptis in his 30s. He puts a needle onto a record. Barrett Root Jr. appears in the spotlight. Best time. I'm just walking down the street. And the street is lonely. There's no one to save me. And no one for me to save. Who would have thought it would go on so long? I mean, the general thought at the time it would, is that it would be like six shows. Maybe, you know, okay. I don't know. I, I've never gone out looking, I've never had a resume. And, you know, the phone either really has it rang, see, maybe it's over. Lately, I, you know, really, I've just overextended myself. I mean, I didn't think I'd be doing both of those shows. I, I really didn't. That, that came as a bit of a surprise.